Hey, what's happening guys? Another quick video. We're going to set up some white spotted assassin bugs, Platymeris bigotatus. These came from Dean's Tarantulas in Noonan, Georgia. We're going to do a base setup, uh, something that he was doing, which is a, I think this is a 32 quart Sterilite tub uh, with about two inches of substrate and about half and half uh, wet or moist and half dry sub uh, substrate this being peat moss uh, from Home Depot and he was keeping them pretty successfully in, in the setup like this which is just a little more spartan than the natural enclosure I had them in first which worked really well but once you had babies it was pretty difficult to get uh, to get a hold of them because there were so many places for them to hide so this should be uh, much more advantageous as far as breeding them and uh, we'll go ahead and open this kind of carefully. They're not aggressive, but they're also not anything you really want to get tagged by. And there are a few dubia roaches in here as well. Um, so let's see. We have one. Sorry, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good looking animal. Oh, sorry. Sorry. See that little uh, hook looking thing? That's just proboscis, or rostrum rather. And it uh, pierces uh, prey items and then uh, sucks all the juices out. So, uh, come on. Get out of there. Oh, and there's an albino. That is a leucistic dubia roach, ladies and gentlemen. That's going up on Morph Market for about $5,000 right now. I'm just kidding. It's, uh, it's just molted. It shed its skin. That's all it did. And this is how they're going to be set up. Right around room temperature between 70 and 80 degrees. Uh, that was where I had them last time, and they did very well. They'll be primarily feeding on crickets. And uh, I do have some super worms. I'm going to try them out. I'll probably end up having to feed those kind of individually. But, um, you know, it'll just be a fun little activity and try to get some footage of that as well. Um, how many do we have on this one? I think there's four or five on the last one. One. Two. Man, this is uh, kind of nerve-wracking. I'm not going to lie to you guys. So we have, well, there's one right there. Two. Three, four. That's two. Four, five, six. Yep, six. So, yeah, those two and those four are six. That large one is seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's like eleven, so a pretty good start. And so obviously the one with the white, uh, that is an adult with the white eyes. That's why they call them white-eyed or white-spotted assassin bugs. And um, those are sub-adults, and that is a, uh, a juvenile. They they start off kind of small, uh, about twice the size of a ses uh, twice the size of a sesame seed, and um, they grow pretty quick. Uh, and they'll, they'll eat non-stop you just got to keep putting the food to these guys I said there were some uh, dubia roaches in with them in the container um, which I think they've they've sucked all the all the life out of these these are all dried up carcasses so um, actually I'll leave those in there's a couple of isopods in here as well to sort of clean up things and once my uh, the new isopods, the white dwarfs get established in their enclosure, I'll transfer some over just to help keep uh, keep things neat and orderly. Uh, that's that. Uh, keep uh, I'll keep uh, keep you guys posted on the progress and any changes that need to be made uh, along the way. If you guys got any questions, you know, please feel free to drop a comment, and I'll get to those as soon as I can. I hope you have a great day. Thanks.